uh, permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Before me is a paper this morning, and I want to believe that this paper uh, is a product of lectures we had for two sessions. That's language 314, language learning and translation principles. Some of the observations, recommendations, contributions uh, actually give birth to this paper before us this morning. A preacher, factors affecting his pronunciation of English language. The words we pronounce are very, very important, but what makes them to be more meaningful if, if, uh, is if words are pronounced adequately. Now, we want to believe that every preacher that comes up has a message, and every preacher has the liberty to make a choice of language of instruction. Now, when that is done, then the preacher must know that every language of instruction has rules and guidelines. And so much that if such rules are breaking, it could alter the meaning of words that if sounds are not properly articulated. Pronunciation is a fundamental part of the language learning process. When conversing with others in English, the first thing that is noticed is the pronunciation of the target language. That is, if the, I mean, if the speaker happens to be in, uh, that's if English happens to be his L2. By L2, I mean his second language, which creates a positive or negative impression about the competence of the speaker. Once you speak, and then you are leaving your audience with questions of, what did he say? What does that mean? Then communication is not taking place. Why? Because you want them now to start inferring. That is guessing. Probably this is what he means. Probably this is what he intends saying. And if that is done, then communication is not taking place. A preacher's language of instruction. Do you not mind my language, but listen to what the Spirit has for you, says some preachers. But Paul said to Timothy, in 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show yourself approved. Now, this is a common phrase. Now, most especially if a preacher knows it that he has some deficiencies in communication. Now, he comes up with this, do not mind my language. Now, if you want to speak and if you want to preach, you having a message, then you should have consulted God, which language should I use? So that if you are given permitted, I mean, if you are permitted by God, then you can pass your, your message with tongues. And then you come up and you start speaking in tongues and then you say hallelujah and then you close. But in as much as you are picking a language to serve as your language of instruction, then you must know that there are rules guiding every language and you must stick to the rules. Or else, your meaning, your message might, might, uh, might not be properly passed. If Paul, we said to Timothy, study to show yourself approved, I want to believe it's not out of line if we also say to preachers, please study the language of instruction that we want to use, that you intend to use. Uh, wrong 
pronunciation is likely to generate misconception of the intended meaning. That's just the significance of this uh, paper. Once you have wrong pronunciations, then the listeners are likely to just start guessing that this is what he is actually saying. And then we have this question. We have internal and external factors that actually used to lead to problem in English language pronunciation. Uh, because of time, actually, the paper is just looking at these internal and external factors. Now, something happens when we speak. Now, the ability to produce good sound, it's what is referred to as intelligibility. When you speak and the listeners are able to get these sounds very well, then you are said to be intelligible as far as sound pronunciation is concerned. And if they clearly have an understanding is what is referred to as comprehensibility. And if they are able to interpret, that is, the listener is able to understand the purpose of what is said, then that is what is referred to as interpretability. So, for intelligibility, comprehensibility, and interpretability, a speaker must first have this in mind that he is the initiator. When you start to preach, you are the initiator. You are the one that is initiating a conversation. And if that is not achieved, then you have tempered with the purpose of communication. Now I want us to know that a good number of factors really happens and so much that we don't uh, clearly judge someone if he speaks. That's because we are so much aware of these factors. I'm talking about the internal and the external factors that we're going to look at. The first one is age. I want to believe a good number of us, virtually all of us, hear pick language as a second language. That is to say, it's at one point in time that we've started learning English. Now, we must understand that age counts. At what age did you start learning English? Now, because uh, this we have already established in class that language, we have already a portion of the brain that is assigned to coordinate speech. And if you have your own language, and then from tender age, that portion has a structure already, and then somehow, somehow, along the line, you now start having interest of learning another language. Then the brain is already structured with an old pattern, and so it becomes difficult for you to learn faster than someone who is speaking this language at a very, very tender age. We have some uh, good number of persons that at age 20, they have, that's when they want to start learning English, or at age 15. But as far as language learning is concerned, and as far as getting correct pronunciation is concerned, if that is not done before one is 
before one gets to nine years, then it becomes difficult for one to really get the native speaker's slide pronunciation. And which I believe is a target of many. They want to get the native speaker's like pronunciation. Now the brain. A child's brain is plastic contrast, uh, in contrast rather, to that of an adult. So the question, at what stage of the preacher's life has he started learning English? You cannot stretch your brain too well. That is, if you are already advanced in age. Wow. Thank you. You must know that a child has the ability to learn faster. Uh, I think I used a family uh, here in this compound uh, because these children are very tender. Uh, Mr. Lucas family, uh, Bulus Luca. Those children here, uh, those children in that compound were able to speak. At a time, they were able to speak five languages. One, there's just a family by the side, a Nupe family. And because of the presence of that family, they started picking the Nupe. And of course, they are in a lorry. They are picking, uh, picking Yoruba. And they are Cambodians. The father speaks Cambodian to them. So they pick the Cambodian. They go to school. So they pick English. They are from the north. So they speak Hausa. But Mr. Luca and his wife could not do that. That's because age factor. Aptitude. When you, when put, you put, put a good number, number of, of students in class, class some, have some have the ability to learn faster, faster than others. Than others. The, ability the ability to grasp language, language faster is what is known as aptitude. aptitude. And, then and then we have, have gold. gold. When, when you set, you set up a gold, gold, what is your goal go, go, of learning go, English? English? Some will learn faster because that's their goal. I want to speak the Queen's English. So they, so they put, put up, up everything. everything. They, bring they bring up everything, everything. so that they will they get, get to that target. target. While well, others, others, well, well I just want to understand, understand English. English. I just, I just want, want to be able, able to read, read and write. write. So when you set a goal, it matters a lot. Now, now what are the external are the factors? factors? First, First language interference. Now. We say it's it's difficult. difficult. Now, a good number of us, we find it difficult when uh, an Englishman stands to speak, and then sometimes even to have a clear understanding of what he's saying, we find it very difficult. Why? Because that I have already mentioned, that the structure has already been constructed in our brains, and then we even say it is difficult. And there is no language that is difficult. Only because it's not your own language. And then you find people communicating with that language easily. That's because it's their own language. And why you are saying it's difficult is because it's not the structure that you are used to. And since you are not used to the structure, of course it will be difficult for you. And then we have rule of teacher. I have it there. I mean, I have it here. I said... Good teacher, good English. Bad teacher, bad English. A man will always give what he has. If you have a bad teacher, he can't give you good English. And that has been the plight of a good number of us. We have bad English teachers where we're coming from, and definitely our English will be bad. Now, now, classroom, classroom environment. environment. The school the must school provide, provide enough space activities and exposure, and exposure to substitute the real life situation where a learner can learn by involving himself willingly. Now, after, after school, school, Yoruba brothers will be speaking Yoruba, Hausa brothers will be speaking Hausa, and that is what is happening in this environment. 
Now, 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 you find it very difficult then to be proficient in this English. Why? Because you speak English only in class. How will you be proficient in English? Just a few hours of lectures, and after that, in fact, even in class, you will struggle with some of them. Please speak English in class. So, the school must really step up to bring up activities, things that will just a kind of force and fashion the English of the students, if at all. We want to have the native speakers like pronunciation. In order to improve pronunciation, a learner needs to analyze which factor is creating most difficulties for him by finding appropriate way to solve this problem. The learner can make clear progress and improve his pronunciation. Thank you very much.